What's going on, folks? My name is LB, The Realist, with Surrealistic Studios, Surreal News, where the real is surreal. Thank you for joining me on another segment. You already know what to do. I'm not even going to say it. Hit that blank. Hit that blank. And then you're going to go to the blank and make sure you hit the blank so you get notified when I blank. All right. That was corny. Let me go ahead and get into this. So there's going to be a national general strike, a national general strike. And uh, quite frankly, I'm interested in this. I'm interested in this. Um, so let's go ahead and report this. We just had the Medicare for all March and there were a lot of people in support of it. There were a lot of other people that weren't in support of it. But hopefully this is something that we can come back together on. Let's 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 be cohesive left leftists let's so, socialist uh, progressive so, 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 so. let's all be cohesive on this one all right let's come together and let's fight for workers rights let's let's fight for what we deserve let's fight for what we believe in let's let's put it let's put aside our petty differences of strategy whether you agree that this strategy will work or whether i disagree that that'll work if you agree with the principle and with the policy then support me, my brother, in all aspects. Don't just give me tepid, you know, uh, support and say you support me, but really you don't support me because you don't agree with me. You can, you can have your disagreements, but still support what we're trying to do. I ask that of everyone. If even if you don't agree with the way we're doing it, support the fact that we're doing it and shut up. All right, so here we go. National General Strike, October 15th, 2021. 78 days, 6 hours, and 50 minutes, 12 seconds, and counting. 11 seconds, 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6. You get the point. All right, so this is going to be from OctoberStrike.com. You guys can check it out if you want to read it for yourselves. But I'll go ahead and go through the, uh, the, the page right now, basically. It's pretty short and sweet, actually. It, there's not much to it. There isn't even anything you can really click. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, there's home. There's resources. There's about. There's contact. All right, so we'll go ahead and read a little bit from here so we get the uh, general overview of what they're talking about. So National General Strike is going to be on October 15th, 2021. What is a general strike? A general strike is a strike action in which a substantial proportion of the total labor force in a city, region, or country participates. General strikes are characterized by the participation of workers in a multitude of workplaces and tend to involve entire communities. General strikes first occurred in the mid 19th century and have characterized many historically important strikes. Why strike? The US government is not serving its people. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. The United States is the only developed country that requires zero paid time off for, for maternity leaves. Okay, so let me read that again. The United States is, is the only developed country that requires zero paid time off for maternity leave. Unemployment rose to 14% in 2021 because companies refuse to raise wages. Only 100 corporations are responsible for 71% of all global carbon emissions. Federal minimum wage hasn't been raised since 2009. 40 million Americans live at or below the national poverty line in the richest country in the world, in the history of the world. That's ridiculous and unacceptable. Pharmaceutical companies are extorting patients for medications. And the average American is $90,460 in debt just to afford basic necessities like housing, food, clothes, education, and medical bills. In an effort to combat this tyranny, we propose a national strike starting on October 15th, 2021. This demonstration serves to show your company and your country or and our country as a whole that you deserve basic human rights. Your labor is a bargaining tool and you are worth more than what society is offering you. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, it goes into our goals. Here we go. 25% Corporate tax rate, no loopholes. Free health care for all, Medicare for all. 12 weeks paid maternity, uh, paternity and maternity leave, all right, for both mothers and fathers. 
$20 minimum wage. Because we all know if we kept up with productivity and inflation, we'd be well over $20 an hour. A four day work week, which I'm in hella agreement with. Matter of fact, my wife is actually uh, taking an extra day off now. So she's gonna be cut down to four days by her choice because she needs more time to focus on re what really matters to her, which is raising our granddaughter and, and studying to become realtors. That's what we're focused on right now. You know what I'm saying? So she needs more time. People need more time in order to live their lives. It doesn't make sense that we, we spend most of our time at work, working for somebody else to make a company, a private organization rich. You know, it, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to live in poverty doing that. No, we all deserve dignity. We all deserve a living wage. We all deserve, you know, the appropriate amount of time to spend with our family and to live our lives the way we see fit, to actually be happy, you know? So uh, let me continue here. Stricter environmental regulations on corporations, which includes bans on single use and microplastics and limited emissions. Okay, it goes, uh, it says here, if you support any or all of our goals, stand in solidarity with us on October 15th by taking off work. And it says here, what can you do? Abstain from going to work starting October 15th. Do not participate in the uh, economic activity. Do not participate in economic activity starting on October 15th. Contact your local representatives to express our demands. Spread the word and inform your family, friends, and colleagues about the strike. Increase class consciousness by educating those around you through our Learn page. If you plan on participating, sign the petition so others can get an idea of our collective strength. Will I get fired? So here's the question that everybody wants to know. Here's where they get into, um, I guess, their thoughts on the matter and their suggestions. The law provides some protection for striking workers, some. Companies fire people for illegal reasons all the time. So please use caution and your own discretion when disclosing to your employer. NLRA protects your right to strike even if you are not a union member because you're engaged in concerted activity. So let me say that again. NLRA protects your rights to strike even if you are not a union member because you are engaging in concerted activity. Companies have tried to retaliate before and it doesn't look good for them. For those of you who still express concerns, here is a basic guide to the National Labor Relations Act and even more information if you're not convinced. They have a link there that you can click. Please contact the National Labor Relations Board to find out more about your unique situation. What if I absolutely cannot take off? You can still support the movement by spreading the word through the links below. Facebook, Twitter, email. You can also contact us, and they have that underlined, about any questions you may have. So again, this is going to be OctoberStrike.com. Let's see. Um, let's go to the About section and see what they have here. It says about us, we are powered by the people from each according to their ability to each according to their needs. The organization is completely independent. We are not supported or funded by any corporation, nor do we profit off any injustice. Based in the Midwestern United States, our team manages social media, our website and community outreach in our spare time because we believe in a future where the working class benefits from its own efforts. Our team is currently in contact with labor unions, labor unions to establish a larger basis with vested interest in our cause. Excuse me. We are also contacting Congress, uh, congressmen to garner political support and levy our demands. In an effort to remain completely transparent, reach out and we will answer any questions you may have. We're also updating our platforms as we see fit to keep you in the know. Additionally, if you see a need, fill it and contact us to see how you can do your part. Our team. So there we have it there. Let's see. Um, and it says resources. They have a link that you can click for resources, actions, contact your representative, contact your senator, notify your employer. Legislation, the right to strike. Are you covered? Striking facts. So these are all uh, links that you can click for more information here. Reading material, the general strike in the U.S. history, reviving the strike, late stage capitalism, U.S. facts, uh, health care, maternity leave, declining unions. So... 
basically this is a general strike going on october 15th if you can and you're able to take the day off or to strike then these people are encouraging you to do so me personally i only encourage you to do it if you feel as though if you feel as though it's necessary and if you feel as though it will be effective in your particular situation if it's not going to be effective then i would advise that you uh maybe do some more research on it before you go ahead and make that decision you know a lot of people are struggling right now we're going through a global pandemic i'm not going to say that you can't find a job because there are plenty of jobs out there at least in my area i'm not sure about everywhere else there should be i believe you know a lot of people are resigning from their jobs anyways i know at my job they're having trouble filling the slots you know they're having they're having trouble getting people to show up for work you know what i'm saying so this is a problem that we're already facing and if people you know on a mass scale take off october 15th and a lot of people don't go to work that day that's gonna put a dent in in, in a lot of people's pockets so whether you can do that or not i don't know i'm just not sure and it seems as though let's see let's go back home there there's there seems as though it seems as though they're saying you should it's starting october 15th starting october 15th so i don't know how far or how long they plan on uh, uh striking for so leave me your thoughts in the comment section below i'm still a little iffy on this uh situation i agree with it i absolutely agree with the points they've made their demands i'm just not all that sure that everybody will be able to to participate so maybe there's a different way like they said if you can't if you absolutely can't take the day off you can still support the movement by sharing or by spreading the word through facebook twitter and by email so that's what i'm doing i'm spreading the word through youtube because that's what i do and um you know i'll continue to talk about it and, and spread awareness about it and, and continue to learn more information about it so leave me your thoughts in the comment section below on this particular situation will you be striking october 15th why or why not you know is it something that you're able to do in your particular situation and um is it something that you're going to continue to do after the 15th or is it just like a one day thing uh leaving your thoughts down below my information will be down below love peace of light folks until next time um i'm out power to the people